is blameworthy and haram. And you're talking to someone who has a postgraduate certificate in philosophy, a master's in philosophy, and master's in research in philosophy, and I'm finishing my PhD. And I'm not saying this to blow my trumpet. Maybe a little bit, but anyway. <laughs> so look, if I engage in this study when I was in my 20s, I probably would not be here today. Allah bless me with engaging in these studies in my mid 30s. So I spent about nine years doing this stuff, yeah? So I realized something, especially from the Islamic tradition. If you're going to study philosophy, it has to be based on five things. Five things have to be in place, okay? Number one, you have to have a sound foundational understanding of the Islamic creed to the degree that you understand how to apply principles that you learn from Aqidah in contemporary contexts. This is very important. Number one. Number two, you have to be praying five times a day. You have to be engaging in a spiritual program which includes Dhikr in the morning and the evening and the du'as in the morning and the evening. They are your fortress. They're going to protect you. Number three, you have to have good peers, righteous peers, meaning friends that are committed to your well-being and guidance. They want good for you. When you're happy, they're happy. When you're sad, they're sad. They want you to go to Jannah. And they'll work, they'll work towards that. They don't see you as an enemy or as a potential competition. Is true love. Okay? Number four, you have to have access to mainstream scholars who can help you and guide you and students of knowledge. Number five, you have to have a purpose for it. It has to, you have to have the right intention. Because not everyone should do this. And you have to understand that there is a difference between sound rational arguments that exist in our tradition and blameworthy philosophy which some ulama would call blameworthy ilm al-kalam because there is a distinction between sound philosophizing and unsound philosophizing and let me tell you what that is the argument, the language and the philosophy that you're using has to be based on the Quran and the Sunnah in some way or at least your assumptions and principles have to be aligned with the Quran and the Sunnah. Is this clear? The language that you're using is not a language that its primary meaning will go against the Quran and the Sunnah. Any philosophizing that you're doing that goes against the Quran and the Sunnah from this perspective is blameworthy and wrong and it would lead to your destruction. I know this because I did the hard work. Not only in academia, but also I learned the hard way. And I realized this. Thinking everything has to be proven rationally. And there are some groups in Canada and around the world that have this approach. It is the most stupid, blameworthy approach. You never teach your children this method of learning. Islam is fitra based. Islam is innate. Yes, it can be proven. But the way you teach people Islam is through this normative way. You don't start them with doubt, start them with hypothetical philosophical questions that frankly some of these people can't even answer anyway because they haven't really studied philosophy anyway. Yeah. Wallahi, Al-Ghazali was a master in this and towards the end of his death he wrote this book. And he made a beautiful point. He said, this type of philosophizing is a medicine that you only give to sick people. If needed, you can't give medicine to people who are healthy, they'll become sick. And remember, Al Ghazali was like a psychologist when it came to these things. Some people may be emotionally inclined, give them an emotional argument. Some people may have a spiritual inclination, give them Allah's names and attributes. But what do we do? We end up debating everything, philosophizing everything with people. Because we miss. The goal, the maqsad of da'wah. We, we have become people of ilm, but not people of hikmah. And when it comes to da'wah, you have to be people of hikmah. Allah says, Call to the way of Allah with what? Hikmati, with hikmah, wisdom. Allah doesn't say, 